trust me. Nodule in the dermis, reactive, someone's been scratching it, they got LSC change over top, like in simplex chronicus. Dermis is filled with what, what is it? Boom, nailed it, yeah. These huge massive cells, big nuclei, big nucleoli, a bunch of pink cytoplasm, variable amounts of inflammation. One of the most helpful features that I like is, well, you can cut, there's some area on here that had it really good. Let me look on this one. The color here is a little different. They have two-toned cytoplasm most of the time where you'll get like a central zone of kind of a dark purple cytoplasm near the nucleus. And then as you go up to the side, it gets more light pink. Okay, that two-toned cytoplasm there, you can see purple versus kind of the other cells that are a little pink. That's really helpful, I think, for reticular histiocytoma. If they have multiple lesions, it, it's called reticular histiocytosis and sometimes associated with gammopathies and debilitating arthritis. Um, and then also, I think that even though these are probably etiologically different, they awfully look a lot like juvenile xanthogranuloma histologically. To me, they are histologically on a spectrum. And what I use is if it's a lot more EOs and a lot of foamy Teuton cells, then I tend to call it juvenile xanthogranuloma. If it doesn't have those things and it looks with that two-tone cytoplasm, then I favor reticulous cytoma. If there's a solitary lesion, either way, it's benign, so that's okay. 